Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated system to help you win big every single week and it doesn't matter which sport you prefer betting on. So for this week we're going to be talking about the NBA and we have several interesting games in store for November 15th. So we're going to get started but first if you are not already a member please join. You'll have access to the Z Code VIP club where you will have all these interesting tools which will help you with your betting. So we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of the games for Friday. And the first game we want to take a closer look at is San Antonio versus Orlando. So you can see here San Antonio is ice cold down at the moment. You can see they have won two out of their last six, losing their last two. Orlando is dead status. They have lost five out of their last six, including a 109-102 loss on November 10th to Indiana. You look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Orlando is at plus eight, San Antonio is at plus 13. Head to head matchups, you can see last season, uh, while well, they had a preseason game, that doesn't mean anything for this year, but last season you can see that the team split both teams winning on the road. If considering the over and under, let's take a look here. You can see that San Antonio was playing in games trending over, and Orlando is playing in games trending other. You should probably avoid betting the over-under, but if you do decide to place a bet, you could go with the under, I would think, because Orlando is trending farther under than uh, San Antonio is trending over. So that's what I would do in that scenario. If you look at the uh, volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams are, you see that both teams are relatively stable at plus 6 to plus 4, which means that they are performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. The Spurs are off to a 5-5 five and five start and 1-2 and two on the road. Orlando is 3-7 and seven this season and 3-3 three and three at home. So, I mean, I believe the trend will continue as far as the road team winning games in this series. So, go with the Spurs to take the win in this one. Go down through here. This is probably the matchup of the day. Indiana Pacers versus the Houston Rockets. Indiana is off to a 6-4 and four start, which is 6th in the Eastern Conference. They are 2-3 and three on the road. Houston is 7-3 and three for the season, third in the Western Conference. Both teams you can see are burning hot. Indiana has won five out of their last six. Houston has won their last four. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup from last season, take notice that teams played in November last year, and Houston won both games by 12 at home and by four on the road. Considering the over-under, you can see that Indiana is playing in games trending over. Houston is playing in games trending under. So it's kind of a wash, so I would probably avoid betting the over under in games, in, in this game rather. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. Which team is the most stable? We can see Houston is plus five. Indiana minus two, so take note of that. That means they're not performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status, so take that with a grain of salt. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see Houston has a slight edge of plus 20 to plus 18. What I'm looking at here is that the Rockets have been quite consistent at home, and I think the Rockets will win the game, mainly because they're at home, because, those, because both teams are very good. But it's both the home court advantage for Houston to improve to 8-3 and three on the season. The Philadelphia 76ers versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. The 76ers have recently snapped a three-game skid and are 6-3 and three on the season. They are 3-3 three and three on the road, taking on a Thunder team, which is 4-5 and five on the season, and 4-3 and three at home. 76ers have average status right now. You can see winning three out of their last six. Oklahoma City averaged down. They are coming off a loss by two points to Milwaukee, and they have lost two out of their last three. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams last season. You can see that Philadelphia won by four on the road. Oklahoma City won by two on the road. So you can see that they were very close games. Totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, Philadelphia is playing in games trending other. under. You can see the red line compared to the blue line. Oklahoma City also trending under. So in this game, it's probably going to be more of a defensive battle. So go with the under in this one. Are the two teams stable? Well, let's take a look. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see both teams are very stable, performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. 
Now that I just have a slight feeling that that will change in this one. Oklahoma City will probably be a slim road a home favorite, but I think with Philadelphia getting Ben Simmons back in the lineup, I think they have what it takes to steal this one on the road. Go with Philadelphia to win by a slight, slight margin, maybe even in overtime to do so. And then we have a couple more games we want to take a look at here. Boston Celtics and the Golden State Warriors. Well, what can you say about this one? Boston is off to a tremendous start at 8-1, leading the Eastern Conference. They are 4-1 on the road. Golden State is struggling mightily. They are 2-9 on the season. They are without Clay Thompson from the start of the season, and now Steph Curry for a few months, so they are in all kinds of disarray and all kinds of trouble. Um, best to forego the over-under in this game since the teams are trending on opposite sides, sides of the line according to the uh, totals predictor. You look at the head-to-head -head matchup last season. Boston won one, Golden State won one, and again, both teams won on the road. Boston winning handily by 33 in their victory. Gold, uh, Boston right now is burning hot. You can see that they have won their last six. Golden State is dead status, and they have lost five out of their last six. Look at the power rankings indicator. You will see something similar. Boston all the way up at plus 29. Golden State here at the very bottom here at plus one. Surprised to see that from Golden State, who has been a powerhouse in recent seasons. But in this one here, it looks like uh, Boston is just too strong. And they will win this one on the road to drop Golden State even further in the standing. The last game we want to take a look at here now is the Sacramento Kings and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Kings here have average status. They have won three out of their last six. The Lakers are burning hot down. You can see that they have won five out of their last six, coming off a 113-104 loss at home to uh, Toronto. Uh, and if you look at the power ranking indicator, Los Angeles all the way up here at plus 29. Sacramento was at plus nine. They're now down to plus three. The Lakers are seven and two for the season and four and one at home. The Kings are 3-6 and six on this season and 2-3 and three on the road. If you look at head-to-head, -head, you can see that last season the Lakers won three out of the four meetings. The Kings winning their only game by a single point back on December 27th of last year. How stable are the two teams? Take a look at the volatility oscillator. They are moderately stable, both above zero. You can see plus two for the Kings, plus three for the Lakers. So consider the over underdog status when betting. With the totals predictor, the Lakers are playing in games trending under the line. Oh, excuse me, that's Sacramento. Sorry, Sacramento up top here. Sacramento trending a little bit under the line here. And if you look down here at the Lakers, they are trending under the line as well. So it's a good bet probably to go with the under in this game. So overall, the Lakers are just too strong. There's really no other way around it. Sacramento probably has a very slim chance of pulling off an upset. I say the Lakers will win perhaps by double digits. So before we go here, I want you to take a look at something here. So please take notice of here, of this link here and this article here. It says, why bookmakers close or limit accounts, how you can avoid it. Take a look at this and read this and see what, see what is going on with here. And there's also a little bit of a video here also with the reasons why your account could be closed or limited. There's a bunch of different reasons here. You can see reason one, uh, and then there's reason two, and then there's reason three. There's a whole bunch of different reasons. And actually, this list has seven reasons, and then ways to avoid having your account closed and limited. There are three different solutions. Actually, there's more, four different solutions. And here are tips for keeping your account active. A couple different tips here. Uh, and then you can just keep on going. You can read more about this. And there is a video as well, so that will be very helpful for you. So please just take a look at this. and. There you have it. So that's pretty much it for this week for the NBA picks. And remember, again, if you're not already a member, please join up to have access to all these tools to make your betting more fun and more profitable. Have a great week, and we will see you next time.